going on, MMA fans? I'm back to do my UFC 95 Sanchez vs. Stevenson predictions, taking place February 21st from London, England. Of course, free on Spike. Uh, make sure you check this event out. It's definitely going to be worth um, the watch and definitely awesome for a free event. I'm going to work my way from the bottom of the main car away to the top like I normally do. Um, first fight of the night, Dan Hardy taking on Roy Markham. Dan Hardy training out of Extreme Couture and also Team Roughhouse. Um, has a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Good Taekwondo background, good Muay Thai, decent takedown defense. Uh, last couple fights, Akihiro Gono, Chad Reiner, um, Yoshiyuki Yoshida, David Barron, um, and I could go on. Um, taking on Roy Markham, training out of Militic and also Overtime MMA. Um, has a Kaiokushin uh, karate background. Um, a good grappler, underrated grappler, good wrestling skills, good technical striker, um, good cardio, very explosive. Last couple fights, Brody Farber. Uh, Jay Ellis, Brett Cooper, Chris, uh, Chris Clements, um, Pat Healy, Chris Wilson, the list goes on. Um, in this fight, I think Markham is going to try to um, impose his will on the feet, um, you know, work uh, effectively in and out of the pocket and the throwing lanes, um, get, you know, use good one-two combinations. Clinch with Hardy, uh, which I think is definitely something he's going to do. I think he's going to try to close the distance, uh, try to keep Hardy from trying to take him down. Um, we're trying to get this fight down to the ground if Markham starts um, picking him apart on the feet, which I think Markham, um, as explosive as he is, um, probably will be able to do that. I'm going to say Roy Markham stops Dan Hardy in the second round. I think he's going to be able to catch him um, uh, with a good combination, finish him on the ground, and win via second round TKO. So I'm going to pick Roy Markham's second round TKO. All right, next fight, Josh Koscheck taking on Paulo Tiago. Uh, Josh Koscheck training out of AKA, the American Kickboxing Academy. Um, good Division One wrestler, explosive, good cardio, good submission defense. Improving hands, we've seen that as of late. Um, of course, the vicious knockout of Yoshiyuki Yoshida. Um, there's other couple fights, Tiago Alves, Chris Lytle, Dustin Hazlett, uh, George St. Pierre, Diego Sanchez, uh, the list goes on. Uh, taking on Paulo Tiago, who's been training... Um, Excuse me, training. Been fighting uh, primarily out of the Jungle Fight promotion. Um, is highly touted. Has good grappling skills. From what I've seen of him, um, he loves the top position. Loves to go for leg locks, uh, arm bars, uh, arm triangles. That's what he primarily likes the most. Um, he's got decent hands. Um, his last couple fights, uh, Louis Dutra Jr. and also uh, Paulo Caveira. Um, in this fight, I think Koscheck is going to try to keep this on the feet. Avoid going down to the ground uh, where Tiago can maybe um, catch a sweep, reverse position, get on top of him. I think he um, uses good one-two combinations, um, good footwork. I think Koscheck actually catches Tiago on the feet. Um, late second, early third, and finishes him. I'm going to pick Josh Koscheck via a third-round TKO. All right, next fight, Chow Sonnen taking on uh, Demi Amaya. Chow Sonnen training out of Team Quest. Division One wrestler. Um, has had cardio issues in the past, which has really hurt him. Um, subpar uh, submission defense. Um, not very good in that department, but he's got decent hands. Um, he's decent on the feet. Last couple fights, uh, Paulo Fio, uh, Brian Baker, Amar Sulev, uh, Tim Crater, Jeremy Horn, Trevor Prangley. The list goes on. Uh, taking on Demi Amayo, who's training out of Team Brasa. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Um, very, very talented grappler. World-class ADCC grappler. Um, he's got improving hands. Uh, working very, very diligently on his striking. Last couple fights, Nate Corey, uh, Jason McDonald, Ed Herman, Ryan Jensen. Um... The list goes on for him. Um, some can make the argument that Sonnen can push this um, second or third um, since Maya has shown some cardio issues in the past, but in uh, Chow Sonnen's last fight with Paulo Fio, we saw some of the issues with his cardio there. Um, I think Demi Maya is going to catch a late first round submission um, or, or early second off of a Sonnen takedown. I think Sonnen's going to take this fight down. I think he'll be able to. Um, but I think he's going to make a, a, a monumental mistake. Um, and I think Maya's either going to catch him in an arm bar or a triangle choke. So I'm going to pick Demi and Maya, second round submission. All right, next fight. Very intriguing fight. Nate Marquardt taking on Wilson Govea. Uh, Nate Marquardt training out of Jackson's. Um, has a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Um, very good submission wrestling skills, improving hands. Um, he's actually a talented striker uh, in his own right, but his hands continue to improve. Also has the uh, background in Gaider Jitsu. Um, last couple fights, Martin Campman, uh, Talis Latis, Jeremy Horn, Anderson Silva, Dean Lister, um, Joe Dorkson. Uh, the wins over Kazuo Masaki, which are huge wins for him. Um, taking on Wilson Govea, who's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Talented striker. Um, unfortunately, has issues on and off with his cardio and making weight. 
Um, he's got good takedown defense, training out of ATT. Uh, last couple fights, Jason McDonald, uh, Ryan Jensen, Goran Weljic, um, Jason Lambert, Carmelo Marrero, uh, the list goes on. Um, in this fight, uh, I think that um, two questions you're going to have to ask. One, which Wilson Govea is going to show up? The Wilson Govea that um, you know so many people talk about in his training camps that's just phenomenal. Um, is one of the guys that many people consider to be, you know, one of the top uh, ten guys, not only at light heavyweight, but even at you know middleweight uh, in the world. Um, if Govea doesn't show up in shape, has a hard time making weight. That's the thing that you got to watch with him at the weigh-ins. Look at how he weighs in. If he weighs in um, and looks sucked in and doesn't look like um, he had an easy weight cut, he's going to have problems in this fight. Um, I think he does good on the feet. I think he um, has some good bright spots, but I think Nate Marquardt's going to be able to do enough on the feet, take this fight down consistently, clinch enough, um, avoid the submissions, um, you know, work ground and pound, um, get the takedowns consistently. And I think Nate Marquardt wins a unanimous decision. All right, on to the main event: Diego Sanchez taking on Joe Stevenson. Uh, Diego Sanchez uh, training out of ATT and also the University of Jiu Jitsu. Um, as a purple belt Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, um, good hands, good wrestling skills, um, good, grappler, uh, good grappler, has the Gaido Jitsu background as well. Uh, last couple fights, uh, Luigi Ferravanti, um, David uh, Beckelden, um, excuse me, David Beckenden, uh, J John Fitch, Josh Koscheck, uh, the list goes on. Uh, taking on Joe Stevenson, who's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, good wrestler, um, improving hands, uh, good cardio, um, uh, training out of uh, Mark Lehman's uh, Cobra Kai. Uh, last couple fights, uh, Kenny Florian, Gleason Tebow, BJ Penn, Kurt Pellegrino, Melvin Gillard. Uh, the list goes on. Um, I've gone back and forth on this fight, trying to decide how I was going to pick. Um, it really is going to come down. This one is another one to the weigh-ins. Um, how is Diego going to you know, handle this weight cut? If he looks sucked in, if he looks like he had a hard time making the weight cut, He's going to have serious problems in this fight, I guarantee you, um, at least in my opinion. Um, I think that Joe Stevenson, of course, is well acclimated at 155. This will be Diego's first run at 155. Um, against my better judgment, um, I'm going to pick Diego Sanchez. I think he wins a unanimous decision in this. I think he's able to do enough on the feet, enough in the grappling um, to sway the judges, but... And this is a key note, but if he does not look good at the weigh-ins, if he looks sucked in, and it looks like he had a hard time making this weight cut, he's going to have serious cardio issues in this fight, and Joe Stevenson uh, more than likely will be able to pull a decision out on him. So that's the key note. But I'm going to pick Diego Sanchez, like I said, against my better judgment, just because I think I think that he's going to you know, uh, have done enough in his training and in his training camp to make the proper weight cut and be able to look good at this weight. And I think he wins a unanimous decision. So those are my picks for UFC 95. I'll leave some comments. Uh, Constructive negative positive as always. Make sure to check out my sponsors. Um, the links will be at the uh, description uh, side of the video and also their um, logos at the end of this video. And I will be back the night of or the night after to do my review. And on that note, you guys... Have a great day.